Hey, let's sleep the people. So I'm really excited. I just tried out my new detent in the HDB 68. And what I'm really excited, uh, this detent that I made, this new one that you might have saw the install video on, I'm actually able to cycle these Grimberg Jewel V3s through here perfectly. So I just shot one off. So this will be the second one. I have it gassed up right now. I put five in here and I have uh, four more left. And I'm really, really impressed. It works really good. I'm going to get the crony and uh, we'll chronograph it in a second. Um, the trigger's feeling a little bit better now. I think with this detent, the new one that I put in, I, it's a, I, I get a little bit of a better pull and it breaks where it's supposed to. I won't say it's my favorite. I, I, my M17 is definitely hands down my favorite. But for the price that these go for and how easy they are to modify, and now that we're able to replace the detent if something happens to it, this is a really good viable option. Also, I think using the Grimberg Jewel V3s, they're 7.9 grams these, I just weighed them. I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with what it can do with just a simple modification. So I have the valve block removed and I have the Home Defense 24 kit put in here. So if you're running it CO2, if you're gonna run it with HPA, you have to remove the CO2 restrictor from the Home Defense 24 kit that's in here. But let me get the chronograph and let's test it out and see what the joule power is on this. So let's put this down here. We got zero, zero. We got it up here. I don't want to chase these around the room. 378. I'll leave down in the description what the jewels are of that. But 378, that's pretty damn good. And that's the, that's the second shot, by the way. That's not the first shot. Three sixty six. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that that's somewhere in the forty joules, uh, somewhere between thirty eight and forty two joules, somewhere around there. I will do the math and I will put it down in the description below. It might be around that area, so don't hold me to it. Amazing. Let's see if I got one more in here. We can do it. So if you're looking for a viable truck or home defense less lethal, I would definitely consider one of these for the price that they go for. It definitely won't break the bank. I think the next video I do with this, I'm gonna get the adapter here. I have another HPA tank and we're gonna try running it with HPA and see how much more joules we get now that we have the good detent. And what's great is this detent, they don't roll out of the barrel or anything. It's very, very good, and these are large, these uh, joules. Last one. 342. So that was great. Um, put it on safety. God, I only gotta chase after one of them. Anyway, that's the new detent that um, we made over here, and that's the new detent. And it's so far, it's been very reliable. I've used a couple of them. But the great thing is, is even if the detent does go, you could still just get a new one and plop it in there. It's very cost effective. And if you have a couple of them on hand, I'm, I'm anticipating these will last and be as durable as the HDP 50 ones because they're made of the same material. And so far, so good. As far as kinetic rounds, listen, I don't get paid any money. I don't get anything for free. And I'm telling you, Grimberg Jewel V3s, 
they're great in these uh, in these less lethal mall. In the T4 E line that are modified, they're heavy hitters. You could see the the chronograph doesn't lie. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, stay tuned for more good stuff. Talk to you later. Bye.